In Utah County tonight, Provo police confirming that four unsheltered or homeless people have died after being outside in the cold this winter. Yeah, the exact cause of their death still under investigation. Amanda Gilbert is live at Provo City Hall where several people spoke up at tonight's city council meeting about these deaths. Amanda? Yeah, with cold weather on the way, these people asked the city council for two things. One, an emergency shelter and or a temporary stop to the camping van in Provo. Edna Cox was a homeless mom who sadly died on New Year's Day. Many of her friends knew her as Peaches, like Bonnie Schiffler Olson, who remembers their last conversation. And she said, she said, I'll be all right. You go home, take care of your boy. Tonight, Bonnie and others spoke for Peaches. They say Provo's camping van is unsafe with this year's brutal winter. Why should people care? Because it's the human thing to do. Most people don't have someone that, that will go pick their things up when they're arrested for camping, so they lose their sleeping bags. The city attorney, Brian Jones, says the ordinance prohibits two things. It's camping specifically on sidewalks, streets, alleys, it also prohibits camping on any public property, but only if uh, there is otherwise available overnight shelter. The Food and Care Coalition in town told me they have resources and a transitional housing program, but no beds. They said there's no shelters in Utah County. If I were out in the cold and I had no place to go, I would like to be able to huddle up wherever I could to stay warm and not be uh, awoken in the night and asked to move. I asked what's to come from tonight. I know that it's on the elected officials' minds and they've been hearing the comments, and so I assume that there will be discussions, but I don't know anything more than that. And the city attorney did say that police have prosecuted the camping ordinance 25 times in the last six months. And I did want to speak with the mayor of Provo to see if any change is coming. I hope to follow up with her tomorrow. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News.